particular user so pass uh, needed password so i have given the password but it's a little bit of a tricky stuff because i named the password as ftp user so my password is ftp user don't get confused the username is dsl whereas the password is ftp user okay after doing this all right it tells that the user has logged in okay then going to the next packet next packet next packet over here you can see that my local system is telling the destination 128 is the ftp server okay see which port it is communicating on it's communicating to port number 21 let me pull out the stuff once again active file transfer it is uh, to port number 21 my client will tell what port the server has to use to communicate on step number 3 okay that we are going to see over here see i i am going to tell the destination that this is the port which you are going to use okay in the port the first four octet are my ip address okay and the last two octet are my port number so how to calculate the port number is uh, it's, it's very simple what we need to do is 233 which is the fifth octet into okay 256 plus okay what is the last octet 212 which is equal to 59860 so that this is the active port 59860 so if the client wants to communicate uh, for a data because i have asked for an ls command you remember like on the command shell um, i have asked for an ls command to list all the files which are inside there so it's it's going to transfer that particular stuff so it's going to use that particular port so if we go further down it's telling the port is okay the ftp server is telling okay i can communicate to you on that particular port so coming down i can see that uh, list command has gone through which is ls okay then uh, coming down coming down further uh oh oh okay so this is the active port which i forgot to mention uh so you saw this particular stuff right active port is 59860 so after the list command it's going to talk to my system okay 128 is talking to my system on 59860 okay and who specified to use that particular port it is us who specified to use that particular port and the server is connecting to that particular port directly up to now it was only port number 21 after that the server is automatically taking over and communicating to us on that particular port okay so that is it for the active file transfer protocol okay at last uh, we issued the quit command okay from uh, dot 1 to dot 128 which is a server so have a nice day so this was the last command which the server threw out have a nice day okay now let's see about passive ftp okay i'm going to start a new cap uh, new live capture close without saving okay okay it's already started so what i'm going to do is i'm going to again start the ftp connection to the server okay i'm going to type in my username password once typed in i'm going to type the command passive so what this does is that um previously you can see here that 10201 which is our local machine is trying to tell the server that this is the port number okay now if you see if i type the ls same ls command this will become 1020128 and the port number so i'm going to type the ls command okay let me try to elongate this so you can see even the other one so i have typed in the ls command here you can see it's 1020128 whereas last time it was 10201 which is my client is specifying the port here the server is telling this is the port and client you connect to me on that particular port okay and even here it follows the same stuff 256 into this 128 plus 3 okay that's how we find the port number so let's go uh, okay after this let let us quit oops let's quit okay once we have quitted this we'll start to we'll we'll close the live capture okay we have 37 packets 
let's go from the beginning and see all the important